okay, I guess it's since I can't keep spreading fertilizer till tomorrow when I can go get a new load. Might as well try to get some dirt rolled over. And I'm gonna have to move the 1600. So I guess we'll get to see how these, how, of course, the ground I'm going to today. Well, I don't know. We'll see how much I get done. The first, I'm going to some sand ground first, and that stuff plows super easy, so it's not going to be a real good test. But if I get to this field down the road here, that one's got a few sticky spots in it, so that'll be a pretty good test of it. all fueled up i made sure it hurt, topped everything off before i brought it back to the barn so i really need to get fuel tanks over here that's one of the things i gotta call and get some, get some fuel ordered for the tanks of mom and dad i've been trying to draw out of the diesel tank down by the barn because the gas tank's just about empty and I wanted to get both of them empty so that it was worth having them bring a fuel truck over. I'd get both tanks filled at the same time. And when I do that, I want to talk to them and see if they... I, a lot of fuel places do it where if you, if you like say you're going to buy a certain amount of fuel from them, they'll drop tanks off for you. Or maybe I just bite the bullet and buy my own tanks that way if and when I ever decide or ever have the need to switch fuel companies I have my own tanks because the chisel plow sunk that much or if the tires picked the tractor up that far which they did pick the tractor up quite a bit so either one's possible just gotta push down on the back a little bit
tell you what, it takes, of course I kind of expected it because they're biased, but it takes a minute for the flat spots to come out of them tires, I'll tell you what. That was the other thing I was going to do is adjust the detent on that thing so it'll pop out like it's supposed to. Right now they have it where the lever will lock into position. So I'll have to do that before I do any more chisel plowing. That's kind of annoying. It's one of the deals I've always said I'm going to do it and every time I'm working on it, I'm working on it, I forget. And then it just never ends up happening. But this time I'll remember. this last spring I did it that way so this time I'm gonna do it that way we'll go out the back and start because this front door is kind of kind of a pain
right, there's the first field done, just a bunch to go. So far, them tires seem to pull fairly decent, but like I say, this soil isn't exactly a good test because it's so dang light. I could probably pick up another, I could probably pick up, pick up an 11 shank behind that on, if I farmed all this type of ground. But uh, I'm going to have to, at least for the time being, bring a pole saw down here and uh, get some of these low hangers out of the way so I don't got to do the duck and weave down the line. And this fence row is going to get pushed far enough back, of course. I really don't want to get poison ivy. I'm going to say this fence row's got is wider. I mean, I talked to them. They said I could do whatever I wanted with this fence row. Fence row. And by all rights, this fence line, other than this pile of concrete right here that I probably won't screw with, this fence line can be pushed clear to hell back here. This is where you get into the big trees. So, I mean, you're going to gain, what, 24, 25 feet? Which, you know... That much, that much gain for, this is probably a quarter mile long fence row. By the time you get all the way out there to the back, that much gain, I bet you add a half acre to this field at least. So, I mean, if it doesn't get too green this summer, I could honestly probably come out here this summer since I got so much room to work and just bring the mini down here and make piles and, but we shall see. But like I say, I got to at least get out here with a pole saw and knock some of these limbs off and just throw them out, throw them out of the way for now because like hell, that one there's hanging out 10, 15 feet over the field. There's some big ones down further that I can't even get under with the tractor. So we got to at least do a little bit of work before I get this planted. And if I get a rain day this week, I'll come down here and fiddle around with it. But now I'm going to jump across the fence row here. Um, I or fence row f jump across the road here. I don't know if I'm gonna get any video over there or not because If my buddy's home his boy wanted to go for a ride in the tractor while I was plowing so I might be busy with him. So we will We will see how that goes I guess Brandon and the kids are out mushroom hunting right now out back somewhere so If they want to ride, they'll hear this thing rolling around out here. It ain't like it's a subtle tractor.
we finish up back where we started um i got those two fields over there so like nine ten acres or whatever they end up being i think that i think that new field's gonna end up being a touch bigger than what i initially made off the because all i all i did was i you know got on a web fall survey and made a satellite map of it and i think that's i think it's gonna end up being a touch bigger than what i initially thought which i'm not going to complain about um brandon in, did end up bringing out his they ended up walking out of the woods just as i was finishing up them front end row or front short rows there where i left yeah and oh to be that oh to be a kid again that's that i think he's only like two three years old just a little guy and uh i think he sat he got up in the tractor he wanted to sit on my lap so he could see could barely see over the dash i let him i tried to let him steer a little bit but he was squirreling too much and he was doing this deal across the field because he was too busy being enamored with what all was going on and heck i made six or seven rounds with him and i'm holding him and next thing i know he goes limp and he's kind of like a rag doll and i'm like oh did he fall asleep and i couldn't see his, i couldn't see the front of his face and i finally got him hiked up on my leg where i could look in the rear view mirror and see him and sure as shit he's sound asleep how i don't know because i mean i'm i'm power shifting and turning on the end i mean that's it's not a subtle tractor i mean it's jerky in the steering and the power shift jerky and I'm bouncing across chisel plow ruts and he's just sitting there ragdolling in my lap sound asleep how I don't know but now, now I know what it was like when I was his age because that's how mom and that's how that's what I used to do dad dad had, I'd want to go out when dad was mowing the lawn and I'd go out and make two rounds with him and I'd be fall sound asleep on that old Sears and mom would come back out and get me dad when i was a little kid dad had an old 85 gmc k20 single cab single cab long bed i, w I wish he i wish he never sold that truck because that was a cool old truck he got rid of it because it was a rust bucket like all them old square bodies were but man he, he should have and he's even said it if he'd have had a spot in the back of the barn where he could have kept it he would have just stuffed it in the back of the barn and kept it and it stayed around for a while it changed owners a couple times and eventually the last owner got i can't remember what the situation was but he ended up wrapping it around a tree but anyway i digress if if i was stay or if i wouldn't go to sleep at night dad would throw me in the car seat and throw me in that k20 and take me out around the block and by the time i got back i'd be sound asleep he spent a lot of time running an 1855 with a cab one of the it was a wasn't even an oliver cab i think it was a henniker it was either a Henniker or a uh, year round. I think it was a year round. I think it was a QT1. Um, so, you know, big old rattle box on top of a tractor, fall sound asleep in that. Oh, to be a kid growing up around equipment. That's the way to do it. All these ones that spend all their time out, or that their parents are just giving them iPads and crap to keep them occupied, they're, they're missing out. But anyway, that's enough of that. So I guess it's Sunday. There ain't no sense in getting too crazy. And frankly, that heavier ground that I got to go to from here on out, I'd really like to see another day or two of drying on it, which it obviously, since it's spitting rain right now, ain't drying down any right now. And you can afford to make decisions like that in the fall, but in the spring, you really prefer to not work it that way because then you play hell getting it fit down to plant because it just stays in big concrete chunks. So, finish up spreading fertilizer tomorrow with any luck. We got a slight chance of rain Tuesday. Hopefully that misses us. If it doesn't, if it, if it ends up not raining Tuesday, we'll go back to the pond Tuesday, but um, we'll just have to see how the week plays out. So, I guess that's it for this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one.